how's it going? Long time no see. I've been busy. God's been moving in my life. I've been evangelizing. I've been praying, fasting, just doing the things of the Lord. I'm being faithful and obedient. I just want to come on, let y'all know, to testify. God is good. I've been going through a lot of things, but it seems like um, my faith has grown so much. The things that I've been tested with, I preserved until the end like Job, and I was able to with, withhold all the trials and tribulations. I went through the situations with God, and I walked out of the situation with God. It was only by the blood of Jesus I was able to prevail, and I'm thankful. But on to my testimony. So if y'all been following me, you know that, you know, I have my vision experience with heaven. Well, this time I got to experience a piece of hell. So in the dream or the vision, whatever you want to call it, uh, I was working and, and a high school kid was riding his bike and was cussing, saying, mother effort is, mother blah, blank, blank. And uh, he was just cussing. He ended up falling on his bike, fall off his bike. And uh, he broke his neck. And as he broke his neck, his soul was getting ready to leave his body. And he was like, no, 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 help me, help me. I don't want to go. He was like, mister, mister, help me, help me, help me. And his soul latched on to my body. And when he grabbed my arm in the spirit, I was able to hear everything that he heard. I was able to see everything he was seeing. And I was able to feel what he was feeling. Uh, this kid, high school kid, he was screaming, like, in agonizing, the worst pain ever. Seems like if he broke every bone in his body, he was screaming worse than that. He did not want to go. Once he grabbed me, and I was able to see in the spirit and hear in the spirit, I kept hearing God's words, his scriptures over and over. He said, those you know, who are wicked will not inherit the kingdom of heaven, you know, and it, and it kept replaying over and over and over. And what I felt, it felt like, man, it felt like my skin was melting off my bones. And I, I was actually seeing him. I seen him surrounded in this fire, like, like in the background, his whole background was full of fire and his face and his arms and his skin been, been, uh, was able to, it was starting to uh, disintegrate. It was starting to burn and crackle. And he was just screaming, Help! like just the worst screams ever. I it still traumatizes me to this day because it was so real. And he said, help, help. And I'm just like, like, this is really happening. So I began to pray for him. And I asked God to, you know, show him mercy. God, save him. And God, he, he, he saved him. He showed him mercy. And he allowed his soul to, you know, enter back into his body. And he, he was alive again. And he, when he came to, he just wrapped around my feet and was crying and would not let me go and was saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. It was just, just crying and he was just shook. He was just terrified, traumatized, but God saved him. And I say all that to say that experience was so real. I woke up shaking, trembling, crying, tears coming down my eyes because it was real. It was real. And then what would you know puts the uh the whipped cream on this on this uh cake is uh today one of my brothers in Christ, Keandre, he, he met these high school kids, didn't even know him, met him in the dollar store, and started talking to him. And then today we got together and I was able to minister. Me and him were able to minister and evangelize to a group of high school kids. Hmm. What a coincidence. I just had this hell slash vision about these high school kids. And now we're literally ministering and evangelizing and praying over these high school kids who were 14. And God is working. God is doing some things. If you continue to grow in the spirit and stay faithful and stay obedient because obedience is better than sacrifice. You will be able to your, activate your spiritual senses. You will be able to see in the spirit, hear in the spirit and feel in the spirit, spiritual discernment. And God, he's just pouring out his Holy Spirit. We're all in one accord today as we were speaking, speaking the gospel. And, um, you know, times are getting rough, but um, if you believe in God, everything's going to work out always. So I just wanted to encourage y'all that hell is real. Uh, what I've seen, what I experienced, absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, 
absolutely mind blowing, blowing. So I encourage all of you to speak the word of God, live the word of God, hear the word of God and apply it to your life because we are living in the end. And uh, I'm excited to be a believer in these times. Like this is amazing. We have the opportunity to go out and help save, help preach, help reach, help teach. We are the Noahs of our days. So God is bring, uh, building up. Uh, he's making one final push in the army of the Lord. You know, he's asked one. He asked me to recruit for him, and I, I've been doing it. I said, "Yes, sir, boss. I will recruit because uh, this generation is like we're the last defense." We're the last defense. All the saints, all our, you know, grandparents, mom and dad, they're getting older. God, you know, revealed to me, hey, I'm building you up. Continue to learn. Continue to be training. Because when the times comes, you will be used. Until then, continue to do the will of the Lord. I say, yes, sir, boss. So, y'all take heed to that message. Uh, I pray that God continues to do a great work in your life. And because uh, he's definitely doing one in mine. Like I say, I've been elevated to a whole nother level. If you would have told me this three years ago, that I'd have been ministering, evangelizing to random people on the street, public uh, preaching, uh, living a, a life, clean life, living for the Lord, you know, every day, it just wasn't possible. But all things are possible. All things are possible through Christ who strengthens me. So forgive me. I know I messed up a lot on this video. I'm. I, I just come off of working three days, only sleeping three hours. I worked, I was up 21 hours of those days, three days, only by the grace of God that he gave me the, the strength to just persevere. So I'm still a little tired. I'm going to rest in the Lord tonight, but I thank y'all for watching and I pray for y'all and I love y'all so dearly. Spread the message, spread the gospel. Let them know Jesus is coming soon. Don't miss you flight punch your ticket don't let nobody stop you from missing heaven not no argument not no boyfriend girlfriend no friend no family member live right forgive show love even when they hate you love them it makes them really mad <laughs> you just smile in your face you just smile in their face and say i love you they get mad how you gonna hate somebody that love you anywho y'all stay blessed